All right, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Muffin Shark here. Um, yeah, I, I just wanted to make this uh, this Fortnite clip to kind of show off this new base that I'm really, really stoked about. That me and uh, my brother Deathwagon have been jointly. It's a joint effort we've been working on together, and I'm just really stoked about it. Okay, yeah. We gotta travel. But yeah, this is gonna be in place of uh, Cloud Punk. We're not doing any Cloud Punk tonight. I really just want to play some for it with the boys and continue to build on this base a little later uh, some more with Death Wagon. So I just figured we'd take a break from the part four video of Cloud Punk. We're pretty deep into the Cloud Punk and we'll pick back up with that next Tuesday. But, uh, you know, I need some content for Tuesday and I'm just so in love with this base. I had a vision, Aaron, uh, Death Wagon, totally got what my vision was and we just were it's still a work in progress we ain't, we ain't done but we built enough last night that i i feel totally good with showing it off i'm super super stoked about this base Yes, I finally did save up enough Quicksilver from doing Quicksilver missions and the weekend Quicksilver missions to get this lizard head that I want, or this reptile guy. I thought he was a shark at first, but no, he's totally a reptile. Uh, I call him the reptilian civilian. And yeah, I'm just feeling like my best self now with this head. You know, he's got the cool metal goatee and the septum piercing these really cool implants in his head and his ears that spin and stuff like computer parts. I don't know, I like it. Ah, so It's you, dude. You and your big ass... That's not even a hauler, is it? That's a shuttle. Yeah, no, it's a hauler. Well, you fucked it up. So we could warp right to into the base. We have a teleporter up, but I kind of want to fly in and and get that aerial view as we come landing in. So we're just going to warp to the system that it's in and we'll fly right on over to it. No big deal.
There she is. So yeah, Aaron already has one base on this planet as well as his settlement, Helm's Deep. That's his Gek settlement. But, uh, oh, there's his other base over there. Yeah, 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 Erephith. Um, that's just some random person's base over there, the base in one. But uh, neither of us discovered this system. You know, when the settlement <coughs> update came out, this is just the luck of the draw that Aaron got. Uh, but it's a cool snow planet, and you'll just see. Let's, this is where we're heading, Libertalia. This is the base that uh, I'm so excited about, the joint effort between me and Death Wagon. Uh, it's nighttime, but on this side of the planet. But you should still see what's going on. First thing I want you to notice as we're flying in is yes, the, the part of it at least is right here on a floating island above a giant lake or body of water. And yes. Oh, you already put the roof on him, man. He did some work while I wasn't here. Hey, hey. Alright, so yes, we got the dual landing pads. One for him, one for me. That, uh, you know, we're hanging. The pads are literally right over this body of water because that was one thing I had in the vision was to have this top part hanging off of a cliff and and then when I when I saw this floating island I was like this is this is where it needs to be built yeah there are some sentinels from time to time but uh, if, if we don't bother them they won't bother us anyway let's head inside so this is the, the outside deck where we also where we park you come in this is actually the second story and this is where I've started messing around putting things down um, kind of making it my space <laughs> if you will but it is it's my space uh, we got a teleporter threw down my science terminal large refiner I got my bed over here in the corner and a reading lamp um, my little robot buddies holding down the fort we got our uh, our grill our kitchen area if you will and a save point Oh yeah, and I threw down a, a pocket reality just for atmosphere. You cannot come on up to the third floor, and we haven't really started building anything yet other than the room. And then yeah, it didn't have a ceiling the last time I was here, but he must have put that up. Anyway, the third floor uh, I think is going to be Aaron's space to do whatever he wants with and put whatever he wants in it. That's going to be his space, kind of like a duplex. But like I said, this is actually the third floor come back down to where we came in this is the second floor so where's the first floor will you come out down these stairs here's the front view of our home and uh, here's the first floor what is this we started bit off super proud about this because it started off as just me putting up walls so it made it look like the house was sitting on something other than just the staircase here and once i started building the walls i was like fuck this would be a cool little hidden room well say hello to the coolest after hours lounge you've ever seen in no man's sky it's not a nightclub it's more it's more of a lounge like i said we're going for cozy here we got the crackling fire and the rug the drapes the posters the bar of course and yeah, it's just a really cool place that we've made home. We got the lights up. And I'm super proud of this room. <laughs> anyway, yeah, one thing I want to do while we're here, because we still got this little part on the ground floor. Get rid of these rocks. I was going to put down some storage containers outside. So we'll just go ahead and do that while we're here. And then I'll show you the final part of the house. You probably saw that teleporter elevator thing that's uh, right over there at the end of our dock. Well, if you were wondering where that goes, stick around. That's the final part of the tour. 
I'll move this base computer. There we go. That is going to come back a little more. But yeah, now we have a couple of... Oh, they still need to be hooked up though, eh? I back out of that. You can't see the wires because I have the cloaking down. I'm gonna move this big boy out of the way a little bit. There we go. All right. Yeah, I got a couple storage containers down now. Um, I move them up against the wall a little bit. Yeah, I will, so they're completely in the cover. But we won't mess with that now. Awesome. Let's show you the final part. So we come all the way back to where we first started the tour. Here's my ship on the landing pad. My outside dock that hangs over the cliff of the floating island. But where does this go? Well, this goes to the second part of the base, the underwater portion, which is directly below us. Let's see what? If I look up, there's the big floating island. There's my uh, landing pad slash dock deck, whatever, hanging over the edge of the cliff. And we're in the underwater below. Oh, I don't like that. What the hell? We got random minerals just spawning in where they should not be. Oh, and the jellyfish are there. Okay. okay. Anyways, yeah, this is the start of uh, our underwater base. Neither of us have ever built one yet, so I always thought it would be cool to have one, a base. This was part of my vision, having a base that starts off up top and then you can teleport down to an underwater section and it's all still the same, you know, counts as the same base. Um, we are definitely going to expand on it. This is just the start, the two rooms and the upper room there. It's definitely going to get bigger and we haven't really started putting anything inside. I mean, I threw down a few uh, panels and things like that, but we haven't really been... We put the windows in, the door, made sure that was airtight because you don't want to get a snowstorm coming in from Siberia, let me tell you. You want to keep your seals tight, put all these windows in, just awesome for observing the underwater life. And yeah, man, I mean, I think that's the end of the tour. We go back up this, and here we are back at the, the home. <laughs> 